welcome back i hope you guys enjoyed your little tea break so let's just begin with our another module that is azure sql offering as we have seen there are other offerings in azure so let's just have a look what does it really looks like so what does azure sql really looks like as we have seen in the previous modules that we are able to create vm with sql database just like that we do have a option of sql on vm that we have created in our previous modules and other than that it do has other offerings that says manage instances so what does that really meant single instance just like i i am a person who can only manage a resources on a single database and that's enough for me for say i am a person who is running a small organization so single resource will be enough for me but i have a different branches over different countries over the globe so what i have to do i can just pull the instances or the database that i have with me that is instance pool other than that in the database we do have two options available with us one is single database and another one is elastic pool single database as i have mentioned is a database that we manage on wholly and in other than that elastic pool that basically help us on scaling the database per se if i am someone who is uh, running my organization and over that depending upon the traffic on my website my database is getting used per se if my website is only getting used in the day time at the peak and in the night time it's only used for one or two hour so what should i really do at that time as azure is a pay to go service it will be charged so what elastic pool really does for me it does automatic scaling like whenever the database is not in use or we are having low traffic over the website or something like that it just automatically dismiss that database and provide optimization to it <clears throat> other than that let's just see what azure has to offer with the migration as we have seen on premising being difficult to manage so azure is here to help us with the same so what is really look like as we have three options available with azure to host our databases so that's how it goes just like the first option as we are able to see sql server on azure vms so what it is it is infrastructure as a service just like i have mentioned about pass platform as a service i have to let's like i am not in a mood to cook food for myself so what i really do as what we generally do okay let's just open zomato order food and it's ready to eat you just don't need to do anything but infrastructure as a service is like you have to get the raw material yourself cook the things yourself do everything on your own just like it goes if i am using sql server on azure vms i have to use and go from the scratch to build the database and host it that it says it basically rehost the server which i have over the on premises it just rehost for me on azure just like if i'll just move forward azure sql manage instance it platform as a service it will give you everything that is available just like a ready to eat food that is available for me but what happened is it just start rebuilding it accordingly if it is on premises i do have the accesses and i can do whatever i want to but over here what happened is it just take all the control for the infrastructure part and only provide me the database features that i have to use other than that everything will be managed on its own as we move forward azure sql database what it really does is it only provide you with the database you can only access the database else everything for just everything azure sql is responsible just like we have seen for the graph just like we are moving forward as it 
Azure is taking the whole responsibility of our database over there. It's just rebuilding the structure on their own and providing that with the database. And it also depends and it just take the administrator over him. Just like in the first one, we, we are the administrator who has the access to the VM and what all features I want, I am able to access it. But as we move forward, administration part wholly goes to the Azure platform. So that's how Azure offer the SQL migrations options. Let's take a small break and we'll get back after it. <laughs> 